What's up friends, time for our second video of the 2018 CrossFit Games Open. 18.2 is a two-part workout. The first one is a one to 10 increasing ladder of dumbbell front squats and bar facing burpees over the bar. Part 18.2A is gonna be building to a one rep max clean with a barbell. There's a 12 minute cap, let's talk some strategy. For 18.2, let's start talking about the dumbbells. For the men, 35 pounds is scaled, 50 pound dumbbells is RX. The rules state the dumbbells need to be held at the shoulders, but you do not have to have a full grip on them the entire time. I'll start with the 35 pounders and show you what I think are the three ways that you should hold them and what I'm probably gonna do to start. I'll always just stand and curl them to my shoulders. The fastest way to get set is three, two, one, go. One head of the dumbbell resting on your shoulders, the other one up in the air, and then squat away. The reason I don't like this is because when I get tired, the wobbles start to happen. So, I've seen other people rest the head of the dumbbells that are on top together behind your head for a little bit of stability. Then, by pulling your elbows in a little bit in front, you can loosen your grip and squat from here. A Little bit easier and it helps keep your torso a little bit more vertical. Now, the other way, which I really think we're gonna see is the most common way, is to literally drape the dumbbells over your shoulders. Like so. Since you don't need a full grip on the handle, this is totally fine and totally legal. From this position, it's almost like you're just doing a weighted squat with the weighted vest. From here, squat down, stand up. The only challenge here is to make sure that when you jump the dumbbells off, you get a good grip on them to control them back to the ground, like this and then set them down. For the 50s, or for the RX, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging for some people to control that weight, so make sure before the workout starts, you find your, this is my fresh position, this is what I might need to do to modify, so you know what to do on the fly if you start to fatigue. So, get the dumbbells on your shoulders, and away you go. What I would recommend, regardless of the variation of the workout you're trying, scaled or RX, Try your best to leave them here throughout the entire set. Even if you get tired and need to break, in between reps, to catch your breath, I think it's gonna be a lot easier to stand here and suffer a little bit than set the dumbbells down and wait five to 10 seconds every single time they're resting on the ground before you start the next set. So control, finish, set them down, under control, and then move on. For the burpees, as we saw for the RX division, you must jump back and jump up from the actual burpee and then jump both feet together over and land with both feet together on the other side of the bar for your burpees. For the scale, you can step everything, including stepping over the bar. So for scale, what I would recommend, step back, step over, and just keep yourself moving. From here, one foot back, other foot back, step up, closer, boom, and keep your heart rate down as low as you can the entire time. For the folks going RX, I think you need to practice the best variation of burpees for you. What a lot of people will do is get set and squared away first, jump back, jump up so you're closer to the barbell, and then jump and land and spin and rotate and get there on the other side. So from here, by facing the bar, drop down and jump back, chest up, close my hips fast, and then jump over the bar before rotating. Make sure we jump our feet back together for the next rep. Now some people will wanna spin on the fly. Castro said that's fine as long as your feet take off and land together. So from here, if I jump up, rotate, jump back, all of that is fine by the standards. Just need to make sure the feet move at the same time. I'm probably gonna try and jump up, clear the bar, spin around, and then rest back on the ground. That's where I like to rest. So from here, jump up, over, reset, jump back, and if I need to rest, I'll probably try and do it here. Then up again, jump over, spin around, jump back, rest, and continue. That's the burpees. Now let's talk physical setup for where things should be for the workout. 
I think you need to keep the dumbbells closer to one side of your barbell on one side and leave them there the whole time. I don't think it makes sense to move the dumbbells in the middle since you'll need to be going back and forth every time. And when you finish the odd numbers, an easy step back over the bar isn't gonna take that much time. If it's there, you're gonna be consistent. Example, if I'm on the round of one from here, get the dumbbells to my shoulders, do my squat, stand all the way up first. Squat, stand, dumbbells down. Now, all I need to do is take a few steps back and I'm ready to go for the first rep. Jump over, now I'm right here again. I don't think people need to overthink a quarter of a step here and there, unless you're going for regionals where every split second matters. For most of us, by the time we get to the round of six, seven, eight, nine, and certainly the round of 10, we're not gonna be moving quite as fast as we think. So keep it close, keep it reasonable, and make sure that when you set your dumbbells down every single time, it's as little work as necessary to get set for your first rep of burpee, over, spin around on the even rounds. When you jump over, you're right here and ready to go again. Please do not forget to stand all the way up first before that first squat. A lot of people are gonna be tempted to squat clean. This would not count. And that's a wasted rep. Something tells me about round six, you're not gonna to wanna to waste any reps. All right, now how are we gonna strategize for this workout? When you finish rounds one through seven, one through seven, you've done 28 reps of each movement. Rounds eight, nine, and 10 alone are 27. When you finish rounds one through seven, you're basically halfway. So you're gonna be really excited and fired up. You'll probably have a bunch of friends doing the workout with you or in the gym cheering you on. It's gonna be really, really tempting to come out of the gate swinging. People are going to get their souls crushed. Please practice keeping your heart rate down as controlled as you can throughout the entire workout, specifically through rounds one through seven when you realize, all right, I am halfway there. So for your dumbbell cleans, safely get them to your shoulders. Find your heart rate, find your breathing, find your rhythm where you can stay under control. Set them down right where you want them. Then keep everything calm as you move through. That may mean stepping up from a burpee. So jump back, jump up, approach the bar, then go. If that's gonna keep your heart rate down, I think you need to do that. You watch the folks on the live release. They're world-class athletes. Most of us aren't gonna be that close. So if you tell yourself, this is a five to seven, five to eight, five to nine minute workout, how would you pace that out of the gate? You probably wouldn't wanna finish the first five rounds in 25 seconds. Pace yourself, keep your heart rate down. When you finish round seven, you're halfway there. That's when you can start to pace and turn it up if you got it left. Now, let's say you finished 18.2, congrats, and you're on to 18.2A, one rep max clean. I think you need to build and warm up to at least the weight you want to start with. My advice for where you start, somewhere between 60 and 70% of your one rep max clean. A weight that you could normally power clean fairly easily that I think will be a little bit more challenging after a workout like 18.2. So, when you get to that barbell, what I would recommend is even if you think you can power clean it, plan to squat clean out of the gate. Don't miss your first attempt because you try and pull the bar up to here because your legs are tired and miss. Instead, extend your hips up, pull yourself under quickly, and see if you can bounce out. If the weight feels light, your jumps can be bigger. If it's a struggle, then make your jumps accordingly. Remember, you can have friends, judges, adjust your bar for you if they're around. I think you do none of the work. Tell them what you want, make sure they know what plate combination makes that weight, and then have them load it up for you. Get your heart rate down, then get after it. If you make the lift successfully, congrats. You tell them what you want on there next. As long as people are prepared and the weights are out, you're gonna be fine, and you'll have to do very little work other than actually lifting the bar. If you're a regional athlete, make sure that you announce the weight that is on the bar in your video, and then when you're done, video yourself unloading the bar and showing the weights on there. Don't get a huge lift and not have a count because you didn't do the video right. 
everyone else, 60 to 70% on your first attempt, then make those jumps based on how you feel. So people said the cues that Castro gave out for 18.1 was that it was gonna turn you to stone, and this one with the fire is that it's gonna be a burner. It's going to be a burner. So if you don't pace the first part of this workout, you're in for a bad time. Please be smart. I would rather you go a little bit slower in the first part and have something left for a clean than sprint, crash and burn, and not even get to the barbell. So, is this gonna be one people repeat? Unfortunately, yes, and I think it's gonna hurt a lot. What I would recommend, practice your strategy. How fast can you move through your squats? How fast can you move through your burpees while keeping your heart rate down and making sure to not miss a rep as you attempt those cleans. Good luck, have fun, I believe in you.